uh, as in like social work is extremely important yeah yeah everybody feels that and i have been always interested in helping people and for the helping people and my self benefit i uh, was not never happy in a priority i have always tried to help people and this uh, social mindedness has been uh, input in me by my father and once i left this uh, i profile uh, job from air india uh, as a crew cabin crew i thought of uh, working uh, and giving back to my uh, society welcome everyone so today we have miss komna moida she hails from terapin arunachal pradesh she is the founder and chairperson of hope foundation a non profit registered for society she began her venture in 2012 and since then there is no looking back a social worker and a child right activist turned a social entrepreneur let's listen to her story so today let's welcome miss komna moida uh, hello ma'am how are you hello i'm very good thank you and uh, so like are you uh, as you are a social activist so how are you coping up with this lockdown are you working on some initiative oh yes 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 uh this lockdown period we the whole foundation we are a foundation with along with our volunteers have been trying to be of great help trying to be of help and uh, trying to guide the people we are trying to bring awareness regarding the precautionary measures of this uh, covid-19 mm. the pandemic and uh, we are also uh, uh, giving out relief materials okay. like basic needs mm. to the da- daily wage earners mm. we are giving out uh, rice potatoes and salt which are very basic mm. then along with that we have also with the help of my volunteers and my staffs we have started making cotton mask okay. we started making cotton mask and freely we have started distributing mm. uh we have also hand over uh, around 3000 mask to the administration okay to the administration and uh, 3000 more we have distributed freely with the help of our own uh, volunteers we have mm. visited many villages nook and corners which i feel is very much essential because administration could cover only near in nearby township areas yeah. so uh, we thought of uh, uh, of some help and uh, we are reaching to the village areas nook and corners mm. of village areas mm. many of the villages we visited in fact and uh, this is how we are trying to help uh, the administration and the government Yeah. and uh, also we have been uh, we have collected donations online donations um, and uh, we could collect uh, at least 60 to 70 thousand most probably mm-hmm. yeah then we have given out 1 1000 each uh, to the stranded students out of yeah. the state okay. means out of arunachal pradesh yeah um, that is there and another one uh, along with uh, with collaboration with uh, apne uh, ngo अरुणाचल rupees only to chief minister fund fund okay so we have been uh, yes we have been trying to be of uh, really of help and do something uh, which can be of uh, a benefit learning education to the people of yeah. our state in this uh, trying times of covid-19 pandemic okay ma'am yes. that's really great because this is the need of our because administ- administration can't reach at every place like each and every village or something so it's really great like you are helping uh helping in this so ma'am as you are doing yeah. uh, doing such wonder so what inspired you to leave your well settled job and choose this path of life so like how you formed this hope foundation so what was that one reason or inspiration for you to start this well uh, uh, as in like social work is extremely important yeah yeah everybody feels that mm. 
and i have been always interested in helping people and for the helping people and my self benefit uh, was not never have been a priority i have always tried to help people and this uh, social mindedness has been uh, input in me by my father okay. who is no more now in this world uh, late hanko moidam mm. uh, he was the one who has input me all this uh, social minded feelings and once i left this uh, high profile uh, job from air india mm. uh, as a crew cabin crew i i i thought of uh, working uh and giving back to my uh, society actually i just thought of giving back to my society because when i visited village areas i saw the economic condition of the people mm-hmm. and the their economic conditions are so pathetic so yeah. poor that i really felt being me as uh, belonging from this particular area and being fortunate enough to be educated yeah. and uh, see in the world in fact mm-hmm. i have uh, visiting many places many countries as a mm-hmm. crew so i have seen the life over there so i thought of uh, why not do something i felt why not do something for my own society okay let me give it back something mm-hmm. to my society so i was in uh, um thought of uh, you know coming up with some platform so the social work was the most uh, suitable uh, platform through where i yeah. can serve my people Yeah. where i can extend my uh, help which i really want to do from my heart so we have been uh, so i i founded this uh, ho foundation okay ho foundation uh, in 2012 yes i founded mm-hmm. that and uh, yeah okay like that's that's really amazing because like you you are saying that you got this from your dad because he was also working somewhere or the other way to give back to society and same you did you just took that and uh, took that legacy forward yeah yes 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 i often remember one one thing more i would like to tell you he often used to tell me uh, when he was alive we we used to have a very uh, good uh, relation as a daughter and father Mm-hmm. and that so he often used to tell me you know what uh, um nothing is uh, permanent in this world yeah okay. so running after materialistic things are of no use yeah. so what is important is in life is if you can at least help one soul and make mm-hmm. them happy okay make them smile that will brings you blessings and okay. that will give you the peace of mind satisfaction Okay. that what matters okay. yeah and he himself was uh, was a very helping man i have seen uh, he used to have a lot of villages whenever they come up uh, and uh, seek for help some operation so many other things so he used to often used to help they were used to say no okay so since i was very close and i was uh, under his guidance today also whatever i'm doing i'm doing i, I am because of him and what i'm doing i'm 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 just uh, following his footsteps yeah yes but i have given i have created one platform that is an ngo and in fact ho foundation that stands it has an acronym uh late hanko moidam oasis for people in pamen so it is a tribute to my father okay thanking to father is a tribute to my father yeah so like yeah. Uh, so what is the role of your family until now in your journey so like uh, every mem- member is supporting you or as a like complete moidam family you are working and giving something back to the society yeah yeah uh, of course as as a daughter of my family and as a lady uh, yeah. yes family plays a very uh, significant role in one's life uh, they have been very supporting of course as i already mentioned my father Yeah. how he has input all this uh, social mindedness in me yeah. so my family are uh, really supporting whenever in the process of uh, executing my work as a social worker mm-hmm. uh, whenever i stumble i lose confidence because of some of the other reason then they are always there to encourage me and uh, so uh, due to which i go ahead and i pull myself up and uh, go ahead and do 
uh, work uh, for the people. And I've been doing, unfortunately, I've been doing a lot of uh, work for my people, could do a lot of work for my people and help them out. A lot of awareness program, uh, workshops, relief, many things more. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, ma'am, recently you have received the North East Unsung uh, Heroes Red Carpet Award for 2019 and another award mm -hmm. from the state government of Arunachal Pradesh, that is State mm -hmm. Silver Medal. So, like, first of all, congratulations for that. And and so, can you please explain, like, for what this award was given or, like, what is the importance of this thing? Yeah, uh, thank you so much uh, for congratulating me. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, first thing is like uh, what I believe in is when a person take up any work with yeah. full heart, full dedication and full sincerity, mm -hmm. and he maintains a persistence, the hard work is bound to pay off. Yes. This one must know and uh, one must believe in this. Yeah. So this is how uh, with this belief I have started. Uh, this is my foundation. And uh, we have been, uh, uh, we have received this award is only because of our hard work, only because of the work which we have executed in the society for the benefit of the society. Okay. So, uh, yeah. And uh, the Arunachal, the state award was basic, basically for uh, the whole social work which we have done. Okay. And uh, the red carpet award. Notice Unsung Hero Red Carpet Award, which uh, we have received in Mumbai. Mm -hmm. Our governor serves there to give out the prizes. So that was for, uh, again, for art and culture. Okay. Now I'll explain it to you how it is. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, for the state award, I believe we have been uh, picked for the award and chosen for as an awardee. Um, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, we are the first ever social worker and you to be mm -hmm. receiving this kind of award, the state okay. award. Okay. Yeah. So what we have done is uh, our work is such uh, we have whatever we have done till now, whatever work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it have been done from our own uh, investment. Okay. We have no uh, support system for outside. Mm -hmm. uh, me being the chairperson, founder chairperson. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I have done all the investment okay. and I have made my volunteers, I have trained them how to work and the teamwork which I have created in them. Yeah. And with the teamwork, which with the spirit we have worked for the benefit of the people was amazing. And with that teamwork, the spirit of teamwork and the strength, uh, we have done multiple works starting from uh, giving out relief materials to any naturally affected, uh, naturally calamity affected people like uh, flood victims, like fire incidents, even health issues, people who are coming with health issues. We have personally, we have given out, personally means the whole foundation has given out them uh, monetary help. Uh, even uh, and monetary help plus we have collected donation again, then also given us few uh, amount of money. Then again, it was not enough. So we have again uh, approached our MLA, our minister and MLA sirs, and we have uh, succeeded in helping them to uh, get uh, money, that uh, medical medical uh, relief yeah. money. Hmm. Uh, so we have given, so this is how we are helping them. Uh, one, and uh, secondly, uh, uh, we, we are spreading awareness. We are also uh, coming up with workshops. Initially, which we have done workshop was the first workshop which we have done in a village. We are trying to reach to the villages, most of the places. We are trying to connect the village people. Okay. Because in town, there are many educated, many learned people. Hmm. But where we need help is the interior places. Where hardly anybody uh, even think of going there. Because it's a trouble troublesome it is yeah. not so uh, it's a not comfort zone it is not a comfort zone going there means you're putting an effort yeah. first thing you have to prepare yourself mentally then you have to you need to have uh, 
a, a team a team also and the main power as a volunteer and you have to able to spend money on them that the money doesn't comes from anywhere it comes from your pocket yeah so uh, we have uh, uh, we have organized a workshop in a village on handloom and handicraft and we did it because uh, we wanted to work on uh, sustainable development sustainable development mm -hmm. so through which we have tried to uh, spread awareness on how we could use our available raw materials our available traditional skills traditional knowledge mm -hmm. and transform it into commercial commercial stuff many commercialize it yeah we wanted yeah. it to commercialize it so that in that zone i i wanted them to educate so we have uh, mm, we have invited many of resource persons who will be uh, educating them on this available schemes also so many things like we tried to connect we have also tried to uh, taught them about adult education how it is important when you are taking up any kind of business Mm -hmm. So now, what we as an NGO we have come up with at present. At present is uh, we are coming up with some products. Okay. We have assigned many uh, women. Mm -hmm. We have assigned many housewives, especially women folks. When I say women folks, that includes the housewives, that includes that includes the single woman, uh, widows, school dropouts. And even even college and university student, you won't believe even college and university student who are doing studies, continuing their studies in distant, distant, you know, mm. openly. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? So they are because they they are from poor family background, but they want to continue studying. They want to get a degree, so they are studying. So they they need economic support. So mm. we are trying them to. Uh, we are also involving them, and. Uh, uh, they are uh, involving them, and they, we are giving trainings on beat makings. Hmm. Beat makings, okay? We are giving training beat makings. We are giving training on uh, tailoring, pickle making, and now they are producing number of costumes. Hmm. They are producing number of costumes. One, one, uh, one thing. Then second is pickle of various uh, flavor. Uh, and that is non-veg pickle, okay? Because uh, people from here, not just people, they are. Uh, they they love uh, non wages so mm -hmm. th definitely we will go for non veg so we have uh, come up with this non veg pickle with varied flavors then also the most in, uh, the most uh, beautiful product which we have come uh, with is the ethnic fusion jewelries the beaded jewelries mm -hmm. beaded jewelries okay so this is there so now at present we are totally concentrating we are totally concentrating on sustainable development and sustainable livelihood. Okay. Yeah, this is a present scenario which I've talked about. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, beside this, we have been also working for child rights, child rights and uh, women and child rights. There, uh, we have also touched upon uh, flash trades which I wouldn't be talking too much, but we have touched upon flash threats, which uh, was uh, uh, in our notice. So we have, uh, we got involved and uh, we have worked and we've helped them mm. getting them back. Mm. Yes. Uh, so these are there. And uh, in child rights also, uh, we have, uh, with the help of NCPRC, they contacted us. So we got involved and we have tried to, rectify the things which was not uh, in uh, not in uh, exercises we have uh, we have somehow um, make them uh, rebuild the schools the anganwadi school which is very yeah, popular yeah, in village yeah, areas yeah, yeah, yeah. and it is every time it is neglected it every time it is neglected mm -hmm. and uh, many of the challenges are being violated that in that manner mm -hmm. Like it is not if it is not operating then the health health uh, because since why health because uh, in anganwadi itself uh, the the drops for the children mm -hmm. uh, what is that called yeah. mm, 
Vaccine. Vitamin drops yeah, and what injection yeah, vaccine. vaccines. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All those are given there only. Okay. People used to come there line by line. They will stay. And they 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 take it from there. So, likewise, the health issues um, and health violation okay. is being done. And when when the classes are not going on, then the education violation is being done. Mm -hmm. And when the classes are not going on, definitely the biscuits, the rice, the dal, everything chana has been provided for the students. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's not given out. Mm -hmm. So. Health violation is also there. Yeah. So these are the things we have uh, checked and we have tried to um, bring in control. Okay. And uh, this is where we become from social, you know, from social work, we automatically, we become an activist. Mm -hmm. Understood how I become activist yeah, yeah. from social work to an activist. activist. Then, uh, yeah, automatically. Mm -hmm. then, the, then when I'm working, when I'm working for a production, I mean, my NGO is working for mm -hmm. a production. And when, when we are producing something, yeah? yeah, when we're producing something and we're bringing it to the market for selling, yeah. we're engaged with the market. There um, I become a social entrepreneur. Social entrepreneur. This is an all chain system. Yeah. yeah this is all chain system. Yeah. Like <laughs> everything is connected. dependent. Like everything is dependent on one thing. Interdependent. Like, yeah. It is interdependent. Yeah. So like you started from a yeah. thing, but now it like from uh, just from a social worker, to social activist and now a social entrepreneur so like this entrepreneur yeah. yeah so ma'am uh, in it this is interesting like, yeah so ma'am in this you are uh, promoting entrepreneurship like you are uh, making women uh, self dependent so, like you are teaching them skills you are incul inculcating the values so like what are what yes. what, are, what are your sayings on women entrepreneurship like how you, what are your future plans with them? So like, are you going to promote it and thing? Yes, yes. My future plans is to at least make them uh, more sustainable. Mm -hmm. uh, not only up to as providing them as a, uh, as a job, not pro only creating vacancies and providing a job, but I would like to encourage them, inspire them to, uh, they themselves come up with some enterprise later okay. on. Yeah. Then we will, we can actually say we have done something for the woman and we have brought in it. We have brought in the woman uh, empowerment. Yeah. yeah. Then we, we can say we have empowered them. Hmm. Okay. Then we can say we have empowered them. Otherwise now it is just a process is going on. Yeah. We're brought in and we're teaching and we're making them work and they're earning now. Just hmm. imagine a woman, a housewife who, who never seen even one paisa of their own earning. Yeah. 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 Uh, but working 24 hours, mm. or 24 hours for every members of the family. Yeah. He, she himself doesn't have any time for herself. Yeah. For if if she wants to buy something for herself, she needs to you know ask from the husband. Ask from. And even sometimes he will not, uh, she will not get it even that money. Hmm. Now those those particular women after working here, they started earning, uh, starting from five thousand to fifteen thousand in a month. So okay. it's a huge money for them. Yes. And I can literally, I can, I can actually see them how the life changes. Initially, in appearance also, they were like, uh, thoda sa sad, you know? Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. And, um, you know, that, that, that uh, sadness and then, then, uh, that's what liberty is not in their case. Freedom is not in their case. Yeah, yeah. It's not in their case. Then, it's not in their case. Thoda sa, no? Yeah. Brightness is not in their case. Yeah. So, all those things were there. But now, yeah. but now they are like, they are wearing very good clothes. They are. Uh, they have a smile on their face, yeah. and they are very free. Even to talk to me, they are now free. They they speak to me very uh, with free and frank. I encourage them always. So it's not about only providing them the job or skills or the opportunity, but also uh, uh, morally we are uplifting them. Yeah. That we are. Yeah, we are morally uplifting them. Economically, we are uplifting them. Improving their Socially also standard when, of when, living. When, when economically, yes, and economically when a person is uplifted, socially they automatically uplifted. Yeah, yeah, of course. If you're econo economically sound, social, uh, socially you are also sound. Also sound. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's all interconnected, actually. Yes. yes. <laughs> hmm. So like, ma'am, uh, what is the one thing in your life which matters you the most? Like which gives you uh, the sense of satisfaction, like after doing this work, like I feel I am satisfied or uh, like wha how the things go on, like as you uh, transform yourself from a social worker to social entrepreneur. 
So like what are no in the whole process? See, yeah, in the whole process of working as a social uh, worker or social activist or um, social entrepreneur, what I have seen as a human being, hmm. humanity is what matters. Humanity. Yes. yes. Whatever position you're holding in a society, whatever the hierarchies, it exists. Hmm. Differences that exist. Uh, it doesn't count how big you might be, but until unless you have never done anything good for the society or anything beneficial for your own people, you have not given back to your society. You have not uh, not uh, not looked after any of your family member, so to say. So how big you might be in your own stature, but it has no value. That is only for you only. Mm -hmm. So if you are, if you could be of any help of uh, of your own society and of your own people, and you you carry out uh, the humanity act, you carry out the humanity act. That matters a lot. That okay. matters. That is the only thing matters in this world. Rest yeah. comes. Rest comes later. Yeah. So, ma'am, uh, like, do you remember any incident from this journey? So, like, which changed you completely or taught you a big thing? This journey, okay. which journey? <laughs> ma'am, <laughs> which journey, journey you meant? Ma'am, the journey from social, uh, like, social worker to social entrepreneur. This journey. Okay, particular this journey. Yes. Anything that has changed me. Yeah, so like a uh, change or taught you a big thing and uh, which you like follow every day or like you have inculcated yeah. in your life. Okay, then uh, as a social worker, what I have learned from the journey from social worker to social entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, in this, I can only uh, mention is there are many things which I have learned. Mm -hmm. There are, of course, many things which I have learned. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what I can mention here is to be able to work as a social worker and to let the process go on. Economic support is the uh, highest uh, in the need. All right. Economic support, hame chahiye. Jab the economic support nahi hai, if we want to do multiple things for society, we can do it, but we can do it. All right? Mm -hmm. And we have done our own investment, we have done our money, no funding from the government side, unfortunately. So, we have an award bhi diya gaya, most probably, because we have done our own work and we have done our own work, we have done our own work for society. So, we have done our own work, and we have done our own work. So, economic support ke bagheer, ye aage nahi chal sakti gari. Society ke kaam bhi aage nahi chal sakti. Yeah. Aur kab tak hum, as a social worker also, uh, man se hum chaake kaam kare, chaake, lekin kab tak hum apne mani se hum ishe chalate rehenge. Yeah. So, yehi wajah hai, humne, uh, yehi wajah hai, humne ye production ka jo uh, cheez hai, humne suru kiya. Hmm. Aur iski process mein bhi hume ye pata laga ki, jo society, social work jo hai, it is actually totally, uh, extending helping hand to the needies actually. Ye hmm. aisa hai ki hum needies ke liye hum help kar rahe, society work karke, social NGO form karke. Hmm. So in the process jab hum production create karne jaate hain, usko hum market mein le jaye, uh, to us waqt bhi problems bahut sari khari ho jati hain. Hmm. Uh, main hu, I'll tell you, uh, uh, I'll tell you my experiences. Uh, jab humne uh, first humne ye uh, ek uh, uh, jewelry wale jo humne cheeze lai thi uh, ethnic fusion jewelry bahut sundar sundar hum humne ek jewelry banaye the accessories banaye the aur we have been called in national level for uh, exhibition panch day ka exhibition tha delhi mein to main gayi thi apne uh, main hi gayi thi kyunki i wanted to experience it because later on uh, if i'm if I myself am experienced of any uh, thing, then I can teach to my uh, yes. followers or teach to my volunteers or teach to my staff. So that is the reason I took the responsibility. I went. And there were a lot of people who liked our jewelry. There were a lot of people who liked our jewelry. There were a lot of people who liked our jewelry. Okay. But when I came back, I spoke to my staff. I spoke to my volunteers also. Uh, then the, uh, I gave them an order. 
दे आर वेरी गुड वेरी स्किल वुमेन्स है जितना नहीं थे तो हमने ट्रेनिंग दे दे के हमने उनको स्किल कराया हमने उन्हें बीट्स मेकिंग पे सिखाए किस तरह से कलर्स कॉम्बिनेशन पे सिखाए बहुत लोग ऐसे थे कि बहुत सुंदर डिजाइन बनाते लेकिन कलर इतना भद्दा देते हैं कि अच्छा नहीं लगता तो उसके कंपेयर में अगर कुछ ऐसे पीसेस सेम डिजाइन वाले आ जाए लेकिन अच्छा कलर कॉम्बिनेशन तो लोग वही लेते हैं दिस इज मार्केट सो हमने ये चीजें सिखाए फिर फिनिशिंग सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट है जब हाथों से कुछ बनाया जाता है तो फिनिशिंग खराब होता है तो फिनिशिंग स्मूथ फिनिशिंग ये वाली हमने बहुत इम्पोर्टेंस दी और सिखाए अभी तो हमारा जो प्रोडक्ट है इट इज ब्रांड स्टफ एंड बहुत ही अच्छा फिनिशिंग है कलर कॉम्बिनेशन परफेक्ट है डिजाइनिंग परफेक्ट है अभी एकदम फर्स्ट क्लास हो गया अभी सो तो जब मैं आई आई कंटिन्यू विद दैट जब मैं आई वापस दिल्ली से तब मैंने अपने वॉलेंटियर्स को बुलाया मैंने ऑर्डर्स दी कि हमने मैंने उन्हें अनाउंस किया हमें बहुत सारे ऑर्डर्स मिला है सुबह यू लैव टू फुलफिल आपको देना पड़ेगा हम लोगों को उसे सप्लाई करनी पड़ेगी तो देन दे से की देन दे स्टार्ट सेंग की लेकिन मैडम हमारा तो टाइम ही नहीं होता है ना हाउस वाइफ है ना हमारा तो टाइम ही नहीं होता एंड जो स्टूडेंट्स उनको भी तो पढ़ाई करना है घर के काम भी करनी है फिर तो फिर तो देन आई गॉट लिटिल डीमोरलाइज देन मैंने बहुत सोचा बहुत सोचा तो देन आई आई रियलाइज की नहीं ये सब से नहीं होगा तो हमारा तो जो बल्क ऑर्डर फुलफिल हम नहीं कर पा रहे तो फिर हमने अपना ऑन्टरप्राइज जो है के एम ऑन्टरप्राइज मेरे नाम से ही है कॉमना मैडम ऑन्टरप्राइज तो उसको हमने कोलाबरेट किया कराया और उनके स्टाफ को हम अभी इन्वॉल्व करा रहे हैं कि जो भी जितने भी बल्क ऑर्डर्स होंगे वो हमारे स्टाफ पूरा करेंगे और जितने भी होता है हमारे हाउसवाइफ वाइफ जो हमारा जो है आर्टिजन है उनसे भी हम कुछ ले लेंगे तो जिन जितना बनता है उनसे वो हम लेंगे और हम जितनी जो जितने भी फिफ्टी परसेंट सेवेंटी परसेंट रिक्वायरमेंट और होगी वो ऑन्टरप्राइज के जितने भी स्टाफ है उनको करने देंगे सो वे ट्राइंग टू डू आर बेस्ट तो ये है कि इसमें ये रियलाइजेशन हुआ है कि ये जो है ना जो एटीट्यूड होती है अच्छी वाली एटीट्यूड हेल्पिंग एटीट्यूड इन योर सोशल वर्क करने की एटीट्यूड अलोन कैन नॉट सरवाइव इट विल नॉट गो टू फॉर यू नो दूर तक नहीं जाएगा जब तक हमें इकोनॉमिक सपोर्ट ना मिले तो इसके मीडियम से मैं बोलना चाहूंगी हमारे ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर जी को भी मैसेज देना चाहूंगी की जैसे कि हम होप फाउंडेशन इस बार इस साल टू uh, को सिलेक्शन हुआ था हमें अवार्ड के लिए भले हमें दिया गया है फेबर को फेबर को हमें मिली है तो मैं ये बोलना चाहूंगी हमारे सर से ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर सर से कि हमें अवार्ड जब मिलती है तो हमारी और रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी बढ़ जाती है तो जब हम अपनी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फुलफिल नहीं कर पाएंगे तो फिर बहुत ही शर्म की बात है इसलिए हम चाहते हैं कि हमारे मिनिस्टर्स जी हमें कुछ ऐसे सपोर्ट सिस्टम एक दे सपोज जैसे कि हमें वी डोंट वॉन्ट मनी बट वी वॉन्ट प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ कोर्स हमें साथ में प्रोजेक्ट भी दे ताकि हम और आगे और अच्छे तरह से जितने हमारे साथ कैलिबर है हमारे 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 पास कैलिबर है उससे और ज्यादा हम अच्छी तरह से एग्जीक्यूट कर सके लेकिन वी ऑल्सो नीड अ प्लेटफॉर्म Yeah. Like we are giving platform to the artisans and the villagers. Mm-hmm. As a social worker, we also need a platform, a platform again yes. to raise to raise higher, so that yeah. we can raise our workers, our artisans more mm-hmm. to the higher level. Mm-hmm. So it's all interlinked chain system. Yes, I mean, I have always said you are saying that. So these are there. So this is my humble request to our Chief Minister Pema Khandu ji. Um, we'd be very much uh, glad if he. he could come up with some innovative ideas uh, like uh, giving us assigning us some project big project as since we are working for a uh, um, sustainable livelihood which is very much important and it is covid covid uh, 19 this uh, trying time it has itself taught us ki hum logo se self sustain hona hai jab tak hum self sustain nahi honge to hamara kuch nahi ho sakta how far we will keep depending on others hmm आदर्श प्रोडक्ट पे हम कब तक डिपेंड करेंगे तो ये बहुत जरूरी है कि हमें सपोर्ट मिले और हम ये सस्टेनेबल लाइवलीहुड जो है सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट जो है उसके ऊपर और हम जोर शोर से और अच्छे तरह से हम काम कर सके एंड दिस इज वेरी मच इम्पोर्टेंट एंड इट्स अ हाई टाइम दैट वी रियलाइज दिस एंड वी कम अप विद सम इनोवेटिव आइडियाज थैंक यू या ओके मैम सो इट वाज रियली ग्रेट टॉकिंग विद यू लाइक आई I got to learn many things. Like it's the journey which matters. Like the journey which yeah. sorts you, and the and nothing is permanent. Permanent. Like you should help each and every individual. Uh, like who is in need. And the hmm. main thing is the humanity matters the most. Yeah. 
Okay. Yes, yes, perfect. Yeah. So like with this good thought we will sum up. So thank you ma'am for joining us at Mitti ke ram. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for calling me here. Yeah. I really enjoyed talking to you, interacting with you. Thank you so much.